Okay, so today I'm doing grain jar lids. So these are pretty simple, pretty straightforward. There's a few different uh, styles I'm going to talk about today. Um, I'm going to start off with the easiest one, the one that requires no modifications whatsoever, and that's just the straight up unmodded lid. Now, uh, basically the principle here is, is that the threads on your jar act as a filtration system that will allow gas exchange, but won't allow any kind of uh, mold spores to get up in through there or anything like that. Uh, people use these with great success. I don't personally like them. I've never used them. Um, I, there's something I don't like about having a loose lid on top of all my grain masters. There's too much downstream to, re uh, too many downstream resources that rely upon the sterility of my cult, my uh, grain culture. So um, I like to have my lids tightened all the way down, and the only way to do that is to modify your lid. So the next lid I'm going to talk about is the ones that come with your mason jars, right? This is the next. Next logical uh, step in jar construction, uh, I wouldn't use these unmodified uh, because, well, they have this secondary, this second piece here. Now, if you're going to use this, I recommend I always use a quarter inch drill bit for my gas exchange holes. Um, when doing these, always make sure when you screw them onto your jars that this seal is facing up because you don't want this sealing onto your glass and, uh, you know, it's going to be a super pain to get that off. So... You can use a number of different uh, filter options for these lids or for either of these lids, really. Uh, you can use Tyvek. If you have Tyvek envelopes that you get from the post office, you can use that. Uh, basically cut it to shape, have your hole on top, put over your Tyvek instead of your synthetic filter disc, and uh, away you go. Um, they're not going to last as long as synthetic filter discs, but... Um, you know, they're cheap and they're easy to find. They're readily available. You don't have to make any special orders. And if you don't have a lot of cash on hand, they're a great option. Next option is another very cheap option it is the polyfill. So get pillow stuffing. It's polyester pillow, pillow stuff. You can get it from Walmart, wherever, you know, and uh, or some craft store. And all you do is just bunch it up and jam it in your quarter inch hole with a screwdriver so it's nice and tight. And then you cut off the excess with a pair of scissors. This is a pretty good option. It's going to probably last a whole lot longer than Tyvek. Um, I've never personally run these, but I've seen people, lot, lots of people use these with great effect. Probably wouldn't use this on a liquid culture or anything like that, but for grain, should be good to go. Now, the next one I'm going to get to is the one that's my personal favorite are these ball leak proof lids pretty awesome they're very sturdy i've never had a single one of these warp after like 100 plus cycles or you know a lot of cycles anyways uh, i prefer to use a synthetic filter disc you can stuff poly into these if you like um, it's basically going to be the same thing as the metal lid um, great thing about these obviously is they don't rust and uh, they have a pretty great seal. You, unlike the white lids, and I'm sure you're all aware, I'm not sure what brand they are, or even if they have a brand, those ones warp. If you crank them down too hard, if you don't treat them with a little bit of finesse, they're going to warp. Uh, I've always had poor success with them. For whatever reason, every time I use them, I get trichoderma. So, you know, I don't recommend those, that's for sure. So, same idea, quarter inch gas exchange hole, going to have to order some synthetic filter discs from whatever uh, vendor you choose. Plenty of vendors carry these things. Um, basically all you do is you use a quarter or something round to measure out your a size that will not only cover your hole but will give you enough space to lay down a good bead of uh, RTV silicone. As you can see there's some scuffing here on my lid. Basically you just scuff up your lid with uh, some sandpaper. That way it'll hold the RTV silicone and it's not gonna come off. Uh, this is the stuff here, high temp RTV gasket maker. Now, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not an authority on silicone. I don't know if window silicone would work. I wouldn't trust it personally. This stuff is specifically made for high temp, which leads me to believe that other ones are not meant for high temp, so. To be safe, go with the thing that's high temp and use for actual gaskets because that's pretty much what you're using it for.
and that's how it's done. I suppose I could have put the RTV right on the uh, right on the lid as opposed to on the filter, but you know, I'm a funny character, so that's how I do it, anyways. Now, uh, before you want to before you use these, you're gonna want to let them sit for 24 hours for the whoops for the uh, RTV to set, and then they're good to go. And that's how you make filter lid for your Grandmasters. Pretty darn simple.